Charlie asked us because he's right. We got to do this too. So let's make a nice, a nice cylinder. So when we make a cylinder, okay, of course we have an ellipse and another one. This one is shorter, this one is bigger because uh, the perspective. Then we have uh, the, the lower border, okay, here. And starting from here, we have the side reflection. Then on top we have a very tiny reflection. And because we have a sh shadow, because the light is coming from here, okay, we have a shadow that is uh, like that. I'll make it light for the moment after we're going to work the, the light, shadow and everything. So that I want to do this so that you have a feeling of what I'm doing. And because this cylinder has reflections, this shadow is reflecting on this surface, which is flat. It's like a mirror. So usually it's like that. Now, can you see it? This is just the line work. Sketchy. I need to learn how to use a copy marker from my channel. For your channel. <laughs> Transportation design course. You gotta work hard, Sketchy. <laughs> That's the only way. Yeah, but anyway, Sketchy, if you go and check between my 32 videos, you will have all the answers that you're already asking today. All right? So go and check it out. And this something for you is still missing, then come back. And you can uh, you can ask me, no problem. No problem. Okay, so I'll take the blue marker, all right? Let's do the top surf uh, reflection. And now let's do this reflection. Okay, L let's the marker dry. And now let's make the shadow.
Okay, so now we have to work with the dark and lighter surfaces, okay? So, as you can see, I always try to make this dark area. Now, the nice thing that you see right away is that here I created a light effect. Did you see? You see that, right? And you know why I'm doing that? Because the reflection is going to be dark, super dark, to a little bit lighter blue. This dark area is the reflection of my shadow, which is there. Here, the same thing. Super dark, the shadow, then it becomes a little bit lighter. And its reflection here, we do the same. Dark, light. I'm sure our former hot transportation now that your sketch is good, but I cannot portray my 3D. And how can I improve on that, sir? Okay. Sketch, I understood now your question. Let me complete this and after we'll talk about that. Promise. All right? So that I can help you correctly. So to do, to do this now, you know what I'm going to do? I think you're all going to be happy. We're going to use our new pastel. Yes. So let's go and get it. It's here on this side of my desk. Let me search for it. We will use the magic dark blue, the indigo blue. Here we go, which this one, new pastel prisma color number two nine five. Okay. Then we will take our baby powder, which is here, and after that. Our spray fix, which is here. Now wait because I have to go and check to get some cotton. Hey Manish, don't worry, you're late, but we are still drawing. Don't worry. I'm making a very good uh, demo about a cylinder. I'll be there. One second, I take the cotton. So, here, the cotton. Uh, let me take a little bit so that I can... There you go, you see? I'm taking that one. And, let's make some space. I just cut in two parts, okay? One, I leave it clean on the side and I will start using this one. Now, to make sure that I use it well, you see, I bend it, I, I bend it. I don't want to use just this way because I will find all cotton on my fingers and I don't want that to happen. So like that, it's nice. But before we do that, let's take, I think oh, like this, you can see, I take the blue and I make some dust, okay? Okay, then I take the baby powder because we need it. We need to make this smooth. If it is not smooth, it's not going to work. The baby powder is perfect for that. Perfect. So now I take my cotton, all right? Bend it, all right? I take really well with my fingers. All right, two here and one here. I'm gonna use this area here. And I'm gonna use it like it, it is a brush, right? I'm gonna follow the shape. So, first, don't forget we're gonna build up layers to make the darkest spot as dark as, as we can. So, I take some baby powder and I mix it with the blue. 
and already looks really nice. Okay. It smells like a nursery now. <laughs> but I have no babies here. All right, so. So let's do it. And then on the side. And on the side, because it is flat, okay, because here it is flat, it's going to be from dark to light here, because we want to create a contrast in this area. Okay, so this is the first step. Look, how does it look? It's just the first one. Oops, sorry, like that. So you see dark light, dark light, dark light. Okay, now let's spray fix. Without sniffing, huh? <laughs> okay, now it has to dry unless it's gonna be a mess. So let it dry, let it dry, let's wait. And this is very important for you to understand really well why we're making those shadings on our surface, 3D. 3D surfaces because it all comes from this. Yeah, sketchy. That's how we do in school. The spray pen, it's not nice. Airbrush is too complicated. It's old technique. This one is also old technique because today you have a Photoshop. But before you learn how to use Photoshop for that, you have to learn how to do it by hand to really control it. And then one day with Photoshop, it's going to be very easy because you transfer everything you learn here on Photoshop. So easy. The white color says we get the lighter shade. Then there is no white color in pastel. Uh, no, white color there is in pastel. I have it. But the only problem is that it makes a mess. It's not nice. Okay, so now we are ready for the second layer. Okay, so now we're going to build up darker. Let's see if I'm able to do it. I'm always scared that I mess it up. And you're going to laugh at me. Okay, and now on the side, you see it's coming darker now. It looks even better, much better. It's, it's starting to turn now. We can see that the surface is starting to turn. Okay, so again, spray fix.
All right, so let's wait that it dries. Because now we're going to build up the third layer, number three. And now on this side, the dark part, I just add a little bit of this to make sure that the, there is a, uh, the color feeling is very homogeneous, okay? Okay. Let's spray again the fixative so that we, we go for the last, I guess, last layer. Okay, so let's wait. That is dry. And then, of course, what we're going to do at the end, we're going to use our beautiful color pencils okay to create a little bit of uh, a little bit of warm light cool light stuff like that a little bit of stuff and then we're gonna put a little bit of uh, highlights with the uh, white gouache of course like we did for the sphere gotta wait that is dry now so this one i will do without baby powder okay the last one but we gotta be very careful because we could make make a big mess out of it. So gotta be careful. should be a little bit darker. Okay, spray fix. Let's wait. You see how dark it is now? It's starting looking shiny. All right, so let's just wait a few more minutes so that we're gonna complete this, okay?
Okay, spray fix again. Yeah, now, now you can see, eh, now looking on the video, it gives really very nice effect. Very, very nice. I just need, I just need to uh, make a little bit better here and a little better in this area because it looks like it's missing a little bit of shading, uh, you know, uh, uh, from dark to light in a more controlled way. So we gotta, I'm gonna do that. You're gonna see it's gonna, it's gonna come out nice and after that we can have fun with the blue pencil again a little bit white or cream color usually I use the cream color And of course, when I do this, I, I move my hand in a way that uh, it's following the shape. Okay, now it is better. Now, last time with our spray fix and then we go to the end. All right, so this I can already put it this place, okay, while it's drying. Okay, and take this away so that I don't get a mess. I put it in the kitchen. And after we clean it up, I wash my hands. gonna wash the hands to make sure that now once it is dry we can uh, use and work on top of uh, our drawing without uh, compromising the cleanness of our paper yeah it is a spray fix yeah look is this one sketchy it's a typical uh, spray fix that you can find in every art store. You know, it's for charcoal design or chalk, pastel. Amkar, you know, I take it by the hands like that and I spray. So I guess it's going on over my lamp, my guitars, I don't know. Sir, so along with knowledge of how to sketch a kind of perspective, what more knowledge do we need to have to get into a design school? Aditya Munde, to get in design school, it's a, it's a question of to be accepted. It's a question of sketching and also creativity, which means your talent. Uh, all right, so now let's take the blue pencil again. All right, with this we finish. Let's make a nice sharp, nice sharp point. And now let's clean up. Still, it is still wet. Okay, for example, here. So, the outline here.
you see now it's much sharper it's better and now we go and take our our light yellow faber castell and i'm just gonna make some light reflections you see warm light just light reflection So I'm just making this because I want that there is a, a kind of a reflection here, you know, like a, there is a water or something. Now, can you see? Look, look how nice. You see, it, it is a reflection like when we see the water at night and there is a, a strange reflection coming from under, under the water. So there must be an object here, or maybe water, that is picking up the light of the sun and is reflecting inside here. Then another thing I want to do here Now, here I did also a few lines, you see? Because for, for me, this detail is like there are a building or a house, something that is reflecting there and it's very compressed, okay? It is like a house, you know? Then I go back with my dark and I just do few contrast. I just create a better contrast there, in there. Okay, let's go and check it again. Look. You see, there is a reflection of something out there. Yeah, sketchy, to get a job is not easy. This, to get a job, you must have a super strong portfolio full of creativity, good creativity. That's the truth, you know. That's the thing. And now on this side, on the left, here, I did a little reflection cold, okay? There's no yellow, it's just cold, just white. And I'm reproduced that reflection here. Look. Okay, now that we did that, the last thing I want to do is to heat a little bit darker here because it looks like it's a little bit too light for my judgment. And now we're gonna we are gonna take our beautiful white wash. It's the moment that we always wait for, huh? To put some nice highlights. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, Sketchy, go back and check the video again as many times as you want on the page. And you can... Uh, so, I'm preparing, okay? Look. And of course, you can exercise at home. Okay, so, first one here, as we do usually, we kill that reflection. Then a little bit like in, inside there, you see? Okay, I guess it's done. I go in 